Oh, what a miss by Noir. Fresh Prince trying to go in. Almost got himself killed. Can he get in there enough to kill? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Coliseum of Valor. 5v5 AOV tournament, and we are starting our season three first game of our tournament. So it's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's take a look at some of the contenders that we have out in this field. So looking at our two ADCs of each of our teams, let's take a look at our jungle characters. Let us take a look at the support slash roamer. Let's take a look at our mids. And finally, let's take a look at our top lanes. So something to definitely look forward to here. We're, we have um, the blue team, which is the Crusaders. And the red team is Ocho Cinco. And we have our leaders on both sides. So on the blue team, our leadership team that we have right there, the leader, team leader is Noir Flux. There we go with our first blood. The first kill of this season's tournament just happened right now. And now taking a look at our leader, our team lead for Ocho Cinco, Fresh Prince. So as the teams go underway, Let's take a look at what is going on right now. I mean, as of right now, blue team is taking advantage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. TK, TK, slow down. There goes TK. Pushed a little too much. Caught himself in the wind. Oh, what a miss by Noir. Fresh Prince trying to go in. Almost got himself killed. Can he get in there enough? to kill he needs to get out before the tower kills him there the tower took him out pokemon fan running for his life pokemon fan get out they're coming for you there goes yina catching pokemon fan yina also taking care of tk bolt there goes tk bolt and just like that ladies and gentlemen we have a six and O lead in this game right now literally genius almost taking out AZ Loner already pushing the Crusaders already pushing into that middle lane oh my gosh what is going on right now ladies and gentlemen Oh no, there it goes, there it goes. Noir Flux going for his life. There goes Noir Flux with the first death from the Crusaders over here. So right now, it's looking like Ocho Cinco is doing everything they can to try to recompose themselves. Try not to make this any kind of slaughter whatsoever. And if you guys have been following any of these series play, you know that things could turn around at any moment. But with a five. Oh no, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Oh no! Right as he was about to go to his invincibility, he got killed in the process. BS Queen playing Yena very aggressive, but was able to get out in time. Wow, that was pretty intense right there, y'all. Pretty fucking intense. Oh, TK Bolt getting caught up. There goes TK Bolt. We're already up. Eight wins, eight kills to one, ladies and gentlemen. Eight kills to one. When we look at the gold lead right now, you're talking about Crusaders have about a two, three thousand gold lead. 
This it's just not looking good for Ocho Cinco. But ladies and gentlemen, just so everybody knows, we did have a late minute um sub in. We had to have a sub in with Ocho Cinco. So unfortunately, Ocho Cinco is not working at their maximum capacity right now. Oh no. Polly! Polly almost getting caught up! There goes Polly! Polly gonna get out of time! VS Queen eliminating Polly on that top lane. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You hate to see this so early in these games. A blue team tower has been destroyed. We're already nine and two. Um, as of right now, only one tower, or they're tied in towers, but more damage has been done. Two. Ocho Cinco's towers than the other way around. So looking up, up in the top lane real quick because we had Polly pushing, but nothing ended up happening right there. So literally genius getting caught up. Fresh Prince. Oh, and missing that sw that swipe. Literally genius staying alive as much as he can, but there he goes. Oh, VS Queen coming in, getting the revenge. Taking two out for that. AZ Loner trying to run away for his life, but just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. We're already 12 and three, ladies and gentlemen. 12 and three. Oh my gosh. Man, Yena VS Queen is is playing so aggressive right now yena already that was yena's first death as a matter of fact that was it right there that was the first death after eight kills eight kills what is going on here right now what is going on this is looking like a slaughter The only thing Ocho Cinco, the red team, can do right now to recompose themselves is try to farm, hold the line as best as possible because you're talking about a deficit of about 5k in gold, down in kills, down in towers. The way that you see that the Crusaders, the blue team, is moving, it's just so much more fluid. But right now, it seems the key to red team success is trying to stay together. But every time the blue team Crusaders come in, they just don't let that happen. That was a good exchange right there for the red team. Finally taking out Ina in there, but not enough to stop him. And there goes the first middle tower. First middle tower is finally done, y'all. Man, what 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 is going on right now? As of right now, the game has slowed down, ladies and gentlemen. You know, red team is trying to do everything they can. Trying to gank real quick. Trying to gank Cloud New. But in doing so, got the kill. But Fresh Prince needs to run for his life from that Yena. Because Yena's not going to stop. And there he goes. Now, Polly 
Paul, Paul Yu was trying to get away from there, but couldn't do it. Man, a 17, a 10 point kill deficit right now. What what is what is the red team gonna do to get back from this? I mean, right now you already see the Crusaders are working on the Dark Slayer. When you look at what's happening with the red team, they're all scattered throughout the map. Everybody's trying to find out what they can possibly do, while literally Genius is just watching the Abyssal Dragon, just making sure nobody's taking the Abyssal Dragon. Oh, Pokemon fan was trying to get in to get a kill. They didn't work out. Oh man, there it is. Another team fight, another person down. Once your support goes down, now they're not gonna have that front line there to help them. Paul was trying to go in. Kill Yenna, there goes Yenna. There it goes. So that was that was worth it in stopping the onslaught from Yenna, but lost his life in the meantime. Now the Crusaders are starting to push the first tier three tower. That that was that was it. First attacks on the tier three tower are happening. Now they're they're starting to work that bottom lane. AZ Loner not necessarily pushing in, feeling a little bit scared of what will happen. And there goes the dragon. They were able to at least stop the dragon. Oh, no, no, no. Oh man, there it is. Down to two players alive. Make that one player alive. Pokemon fan is the last thing remaining right now. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Pokemon fan, pop, pop the res. Pop the res, try to stop Killian in the process, but went down right there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Game one is over. Game one is over ladies and gentlemen that was it wow gg ladies and gentlemen so we we the way the tail of the tape right over here when you look at the crusaders the blue team yena was doing an amazing job at controlling the field coming in and out of battles when she needed to and allowing the rest of the team to really do the damage. Now you look on, on the red team, which you look at Ocho Cinco right now, it feels nobody was able to quite get their footing. Pokemon fan was doing as much as he can to put damage and stay alive, so he had a good balance, as good as a balance that you can have on that team. But let's look at some of the items that were bought. And you guys can even see from an item race, Yena was practically close to the end. Yena was getting there, was almost there. And then you take a look just on damage right over here. Yena definitely doing the most damage, but don't sleep on Naughty. Don't sleep on Now. Now was dropping damage like crazy in there allowing the rest of the team to really go in and finish the kills now you take a look at what's going on on the red team Ocho Cinco Pokemon fan was doing decent damage over here TK Bolt also doing damage but even with the damage TK Bolt did in the end of the day he just he couldn't he couldn't keep it up he couldn't keep it up. He died uh, way too much. And unfortunately, 
Um, Ocho, Ocho Cinco just couldn't do it. But you know who could do it? The Crusaders. So Crusaders won their first match. This is a best of three series. So we're going to start getting the teams ready for the next match.